what's going on everybody welcome back to microsoft flight sim good morning we are going to be flying the phoenix a320 today from uh san jose costa rica to B uh bogota bogota uh colombia i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but to colombia um looks like we're going to be doing a morning flight as i said good morning um you can see the mountains in the back with the clouds and the mountain ranges and everything looks absolutely awesome uh, I haven't done anything in the plane, so we can go ahead and jump inside the plane and we can get our pre-flight and everything started. First thing I want to do is I'm going to jump up here and I'm going to get battery one and two turned on. We have ground power available, so we'll go ahead and establish on our ground power. We'll get our aiders set to nav. We'll go crew supply on and our cockpit recorder can go on as well. We'll toggle this guy on and we'll get our wing lights, nav and logo lights turned on, seatbelts and no smoking, arm our emergency exit lights, and I believe we are good to start our flight plan. We will, first of all, let's jump over here. We'll get our iPad going. We'll unlock this. First thing we'll do is we'll get our op operational flight documents ready. There we go. We'll go ahead and import that from SimBrief. This is going to give all our information about our flight. Uh, we're flying at flight level 370 today. Um, cost index is going to be 39. We have all our fuel and weight. Here's our route. We are going to be flying a departure and transition as well as I think we're, yeah, we're flying an arrival. It's going to be an RNAV approach. Uh, but let's get the rest of the stuff going here. We have that loaded up. Let's head over to our Phoenix app. And we'll get our flight implant or our flight imported here. So there we are. So we are delayed today. Um, so I'm sure we'll get a company message in that regard. Uh, we'll head over to ground services. We do have our, we'll request the jetway. Actually, it might already be here. Did I just disconnect it? No, we're good. So we do have our jetway here. We'll head over to mass and balance and we'll resend load sheet close out of that and we'll load aircraft we'll do an instant load so aircraft is now loaded we have our zero fuel weight our center of gravity and everything here we are ready to jump down here and start programming our flight plan let's close out of this uh i guess it, we don't have anything there config we'll go to config and we'll go to fuel uh first thing we need is our zero fuel weight so if we jump back over here and we go into our documents here we will have our estimated fuel weight, which is 135085. So let's put that in. 135085. We'll drop that in there. And our block fuel today, we're looking at 17929. 17926, pretty close. 17929. We'll drop that in there just to make sure everything is there the way it should be. Uh, and we are good to go to our flight plan. So we'll go to MCDU menu. We'll go to ATSU. And we'll go to AOC menu. We'll go to flight in it. And we will do in it data request. That will request our flight plan. Uh, once we do that, we'll head over to in it. And we'll request our flight here as well. We're not flying a flight aware flight today. We're doing our default. We're just doing Delta Airlines 215. So DAL215. We'll put that in there. Our cost index, I did see that over here. It was 3.9. It's gonna be 3.9, we'll put that in there. And our cruise flight is 3.7.0, which will give us our temperature. Uh, we'll close out of these messages here and we'll head over to winds and we'll request our winds. Once we get our winds, we'll head over to flight plan and we'll get the rest of our flight plan put in here. All right, so we have all of our winds, wind data uplink. So we'll head over to flight plan and we're going to be departing let's find out right here runway 25 the At atena four i don't know atina atena but nevertheless we're running um hold on i need to fix my other screen here um all right runway we're doing departure runway 25 there's only two runways here atina four atena four and we are doing the isabel is isabel isabel is Iziba, whatever this one is, transition. So we'll go ahead and insert that. Our arrival, we'll jump back over here. We're looking at the 3 1 right, this arrival, and the able transition. So let's head back over here. 
we go to arrivals ILS I don't think we have an ILS uh, maybe we do um I, th I thought it was an R nav yeah R nav 3 1 right is what we're looking for so this guy right here so we're doing R nav approach it is this arrival uh no it's not I'm sorry it's this one that's L we wanted the M um, so we'll insert that and I guess we're not doing a transition there let me go back to that real quick so arrival uh, transition yeah okay so we'll head back to flight plan we'll zoom back out here we're still waiting for this to come up and get fully uh, fully ready for us we go overhead here we'll make sure we did set these to nav and everything everything seems to be okay up here uh we'll get some of our button lights we have most of them turned up let's get this underneath one here there we go that one um and i forget what the key is to go down here there we go looks like all of our lights are pretty much good so we're just waiting for this to align itself it says gps primary loss actually i can jump back down here and somewhere in here irs in it we should be able to align on ref confirm align all right so that'll take a second we'll jump over here and we'll head to our navigraph charts we can import our flight plan and take a look at our route so this here is going to be our route pretty straightforward uh i've never flown here before i know that this is going to be interesting a very mountainous approach uh so that should definitely be interesting uh we can head over to our arrival so we'll go here and we'll do approach or runway three one right uh where yeah three one three one right that's three one left uh three one right right here so this is our arrival information it looks like our arrival barometer is gonna be eight six eight zero uh we can head back over here and we do have this up again so we can actually check that real quick we'll go plan not airports constraints take a look at our close out of that uh go to flight plan there we are we'll step through these real quick just to make sure everything is right um let me zoom this in here three one right that is going to be a very very interesting approach all right well we're going to give it a shot so we'll zoom this back out we'll set this back to arc mode and we'll come back down here we'll head into our performance information and let's get our let's get our performance information so departure uh, we're doing runway 25 Runways dry we'll sync load sheet Packs will be on we'll sync our live weather and we'll go ahead and calculate So 141 141 144 so we'll get all that put in 141 141 144 uh, Let's see uh, one slash DN 0, 0. 0.0 one slash uh, D N 0, 0. 0.0 and this is going to be 58 degrees on the flex temp 40 50 down here so 40 five zero by 45 40 five zero and then 40 five zero over here all right we'll head over to next phase next phase next phase next phase all right our arrival q and h we'll go ahead and head back to our phoenix app we like like we usually do we'll update this once we're a little bit closer but we'll get some of the we'll get this information put in now so arrival we're looking at zero four zero at seven knots let's put that in zero four zero at seven drop that there 
Our Q and H is. What's our Q and H? <laughs> it's not. Oh, right there. Duh. Thirty thirty-six. I didn't see that for a second. Thirty thirty-six and temperature is thirteen. We'll drop that in there. Our landing barometer, which we had up, uh, we can head back over to our Navigraph charts. Uh, it looks like. It's weird that it's got us like flying. I might have picked the wrong approach. Let me see here. No, because that's 3 1 right. Interesting. So when I was down here, we'll come back to this in a second. And we did arrival, arrival. We did. RNAV 3 1 right. RNAV 3 1 right. I feel like we would probably want to. Let me look at this airport chart real quick. Hold on. 3 1 right. Let's take a look. Let's go back. We'll go here. And ground charts. Is it this one? No. Airport. There we are. All right, so it's got us landing on this runway. I feel like 13 right or 13 left would make more sense for us. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh, let me jump back down here. Let me see. I want to see if we change it to, let's see. ILS 13, we'll say left, which is going to be the same runway we're doing, just a different direction. This arrival and we'll insert that let's take a look at that real quick so we'll change this to plan mode this is just a sim brief um flight plan by the way so this is just what they gave us by default i didn't do yeah see that makes more sense to me um as far as winds goes what does this say oh, calibrate null zones what are you talking about my flight sticks fine. Clear that message. Um, Anopsis. Okay, we're good. I don't know what that was all about. Yeah, okay, so we're going to do this pro approach. We're going to go 13 left instead of 31 right. All right, so let's jump back down to here. We'll head back over to performance, and that's going to change things a little bit on our next phase. Next phase. So we need to put in our barrel for 13 left so let's pull up our chart for runway 13 left let's go back we'll go here we'll go approach and we're looking at ILS for runway 13 left we are looking at changes to a day chart uh 8556 so we'll jump down here we'll do 8556 we'll put that in the barrel 100 above minimum all right and that all looks good. We'll head over to in it here. I think we have to put in our zero fuel weight center of gravity here, which we can get from here. Mass and balance. It's going to be 136.128. 136.128. Did I say 28 or 38? 28. I think it was 28. Yeah, 28. Uh, point zero. We'll put that in there. Uh, let's get our block fuel. So we'll head over here. Or no, not there. We want we want this guy. Our block fuel again was 17,929. 17,929. We'll put that in there. Um, and 135.0 is... Oh, that's land. Um, I always see. I confuse these sometimes. I think one two eight point one two eight point two. So we have LAW and zero fuel weight. I think I put our LAW and not our actual zero fuel weight. So one two eight two five, or I guess one two eight point two. One two eight point two slash two eight point zero. 
Okay, and I think we need to go back to our config here and fix it here as well. One, two, eight point. We need that whole number. One, two, eight, two, five, eight. One, two, eight, two, five, eight. We'll drop that in there. I'm pretty sure I did that wrong the first time. Um, and we'll head back to here. Performance or no in it. Second page. We have everything we need in here. Flight plan. We are all good to go as far as this is concerned. Uh, we are going to start pushing back soon. So we'll get our fuel pumps turned on. And get that one on. We'll get our master, our APU master on. As soon as the flaps open, we'll get our bleed on and hit start. Uh, we'll change our Q&H here. And let's get what our weather is here. So head over to my flight. Arrival, departing, departing, departure. We're looking at three zero six. Uh, variable at two knots. So three zero six going to be our our altimeter. Set that to three zero six. And this one as well, three zero six. Which I have saved this so many times, and for some reason it doesn't seem to save. If I go to units, no controls link these and save default hopefully it stays that way this time all right let's take a look at the chart here and see where the heck we're going so we'll open up this one and we'll head to ground charts airport and here's where we are we're taking off on runway 25 which is down here so we'll back out tail to the left and we'll line up up here where the lineup marks are I'm, can I do this? So we'll go right here and then right here. And this is where we're going to line up. So we will clear that out. We'll get rid of that. We'll leave that on the screen. We can go overhead now. Let's just verify that our APU is open. Our door or flap. Flap is open. So we'll go ahead and we'll go APU bleed on and we'll start the APU. That will get that going. And we're going up to flight level 370. So we'll change this to... Three seven, whoop, too far. Three seven zero, there we are. We'll turn constraints on over here as well. Uh, we'll get our TCAS set to auto. We'll turn it on fully in just a minute. Uh, we can get our engine set to start here. As soon as our APU is available, we're gonna start our pushback here. So let's um, let's head back over to our Phoenix app and to our ground services. Here we are. And in just a minute, we're going to disconnect all this. Let's just see where our APU is at. So we're waiting for this light to turn green or say, there it is, say available. So we are now able to go on to our APU so we can release our GPU, release our chalks. And we are now on our APU power. All right. With that being said, we can, it says no tug available. Well, how the heck do you push back then? <laughs> um whoa they just all disappeared okay uh, oh there it is now it's available connect tug that was weird uh we'll go ahead and switch this into start mode and we are ready to start our pushback which it was tail to the left so we'll release our brake go ahead and release that and we'll start a straight back push and we'll get engine number two coming up There we are. That's weird that it's not connected, but that's okay. We don't have a whole lot of room to push back, so we're going to start our turn pretty quickly. Uh, we could probably start it now. So let's get ourselves turning. Set this back to plan or arc mode instead of plan mode. Engine one is coming up. And get our beacon on since we're moving. Should be a beautiful morning departure. We can go ahead and stop our pushback here. There we are. We'll toggle our brake on. We'll verify that it's actually on. Uh, and we can go ahead and disconnect our tug. Thank you very much. We'll head back over here. We'll pull up our Navigraph chart. 
and we're ready to taxi here in just a minute. All right, engine two is up. We'll get engine one up. We'll arm our speed brakes. We'll set our TCAS to T-A-R-A. -A. We'll go flaps one. We'll go max auto brake. Uh, we can get our taxi lights turned on. And we're just about ready to taxi here. We're just waiting for our engine to come up. Once our engine's alive, we're waiting for this engine to start here. Uh, and we'll jump in here too. Let's get our cabin lights off since we're moving now. Sim settings, cabin, and cabin lights can come off. We'll head back over to Navigraph. And what that does is... Uh, wrong buttons. Here we go. It turns off the lights in here where the passengers are. As you can see, the window is not reflecting a bright yellowish light. So that's what that does. Take a look out of the right wing. It's going to look really cool flying out of here, I think. Uh, our engine is stabilizing. It's about to be ready. Right here, as you can see. There it is. Engine is good. Uh, we do have a company message. We'll take a look at that in a second. We'll switch this back to normal mode. Um, our company message is probably just going to be our information about loading. What am I looking for? AOC menu. Uh, received messages. Yeah, our load sheets. So we'll just accept that. We'll click return. Oh, you know, hold on. I'll show you again. Zero fuel weight. 128258 was the one that we were supposed to do. So I did that correctly. The first time I did it wrong. So I'm glad that we were able to correct that. We'll go ahead and click return. We got all of that done we're good uh we are flying straight out of here we are ready for our taxi so let me get my uh my rudder pedals here all right i think we're good to go we'll go ahead and release our brake and we'll give ourselves a little bit of throttle we'll get ourselves on this taxi line and we're gonna jump right onto right onto the runway uh i believe that second one right there is our brake still on no, it's off. Why are we not moving? Oh, I didn't give it enough throttle. Let's go. Let's get rolling here. So let's double check that. Yeah, we're gonna get on at the second, the second taxiway on the right. I do have the scenery for the airport that we're flying into. Uh, so it should be very nice flying into there, hopefully. But let's get out of here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We can get our APU turned off. We get our bleed off and our master switch can come off. Uh, we are now established on our engine generators. So we don't need that anymore. APU is available, but that'll shut down. Let's set our thrust back to idle. And we're going to get on right there. Yeah, just making sure. So we can get our runway turn on lights, turn off lights on. We'll get our strobe lights on. We can get our landing lights turned on. And in just a minute, since we're about to line up, we're just going to go ahead and toggle on our takeoff lights. And we're going to just pull right out onto the runway. And we'll get out of here. Here we are, give ourselves just a little bit of throttle here. This is a default scenery that we're at now, and I think this runway looks really good. We have plenty of room, so... We're just gonna, we're pretty much ready for takeoff. So we're gonna roll right into a takeoff here. We'll go ahead and get our throttle set up, let the engine spool up. There they go, and we'll set it to toga. We'll keep it on the center line, we'll keep the nose down, and we'll watch for our V speeds. Eighty knots. Coming up on our V1. V1. And rotate. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and gear up. 
I'll give you guys a quick window view here. Bring those down just a little bit. There we go. I've got to fly the plane here. So we're going to keep nose down just a little bit until we can get our flaps in. We do a quick right window view. Beautiful. All right. And we can get our flaps up. We'll set our levers back to climb mode. Now it's in auto throttle. We'll keep nose down. We're going to pitch for that green. And then we will get our autopilot engaged. We'll go ahead and toggle that up. And we can go ahead and arm our autopilot. There we are. All right, we'll jump into this wing view real quick so we can watch a little bit of this departure. Very smooth departure. I really like that runway. That runway was very clean and nice. Not like an American runway for sure. Looks like the clouds are pretty low, so we're gonna get above them pretty quickly. Let's jump back up here and let's finish our... Wow, it looks absolutely beautiful out here actually. Uh, we can get our takeoff lights, turn off lights off, our taxi lights can come off. And we can unarm our spoilers. And our auto brakes are off. We'll jump into that wing view again. What a beautiful departure, man. The mountains and clouds looks freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome. Let's take a look out of the other side here. Beautiful morning flight. I don't do a lot of morning flights, so I was definitely excited to. Mountains look so good. Look at that out there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, coming up on 8,000. We'll stay with you until about uh, 18,000, and then uh, that's when we'll jump into our time lapse. What a smooth departure. About 24 minutes from uh, cold and dark to wheels up. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, let's jump back up here. Let's jump into our iPad here. We'll head back and we'll head into route so we can actually see where we are on our departure. There we are. Uh, what do we got here? Speed brake still out. Why is speed brake still out? Uh, I guess it just didn't hit that right click point. Uh, landing lights can come off above 10,000. We'll go ahead and get those off. And we're holding 10,000 now because we're pitching for speed. Mountains look awesome out there. Clouds look awesome. Very different than flying in the States. I haven't flown anywhere that was this mountainous and, you know, had all these clouds and everything. I think a morning flight was definitely the way to go. And when we land, we're going to have to get some guys out here to clean this window. Look at all the dirt around the edges and stuff. That's disgusting. <laughs> Let's take a look out of the right wing view here. Beautiful mountain range. Very, very nice. Very peaceful. All right, we'll jump back up here. There we are. We hit our speed. We're pitching back up to climb. We're heading up to 370. We'll switch our altimeters to standard mode at 18,000. I'm not sure if uh, if 18,000 is a transition altitude out in this area. I believe it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Man, let's, uh, let's get in that wing view again. This is my favorite view right here. so good a buddy of mine recommended this flight and so far it was a great recommendation Costa Rica to Colombia all right let's jump back up here should make for a good time lapse because we're gonna be in this view so you're gonna be able to see all the mountains and everything so that's pretty exciting we're heading up to we're holding a 13,000 altitude constraint it looks like We're doing the, let's take a look here. Let's go to our, we have Navigraph open. Let's go to departure, uh, departure. Is it this one? Yeah. 
This is the departure that we are flying. There we are. So I think we're heading over to this, this waypoint here. I don't know why we're crossing this one, but everything seems to be going pretty well so far. 14,500 and climbing. We're steady and stable. We'll go ahead and toggle off our seatbelt signs, which I believe is this one. So toggle them off. We'll leave that on. Everything up here looks good. We have no lights. Everything is good. Should make for a pretty good flight. Never flown into this airport, so I'm very curious as to how this arrival is going to go. I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm up over 16,000 now. I don't know what the deal is with this. Do I have to like unlock this? Because that's like not right. Okay, so what do I do? I just hold the button. All right, that looks right now. Seventeen thousand. Before you know it, we'll be at our altitude. We have our no smoking light on there, which we I guess I set it to on. I guess we'll just set it back to auto and that clears the light. We're good. Here we are coming up on our eighteen thousand. We'll go ahead and switch this into standard mode. Make sure both switched into standard mode and uh, we can jump into the window view. We can start our time lapse here and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the flight. I will see you when we're closer to our descent. Everybody, welcome back. We have not begun our descent yet. We are coming up on our top of descent right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get our altitude down to, uh, we're gonna do about 14,000. I'll double check all this on the charts in a moment, but since we are about to cross over our top of descent, I wanna be prepared to toggle it on. Um, we do have a company message, which we'll read here in a second. I believe that's because we're a little bit delayed getting out of, uh, um, getting our departure. Um, I forget the name of the airport, um, San Jose. <laughs> we're a little bit late getting out of there, so it's probably a company message just asking why we were delayed. Uh, so we'll respond to that here in a second. We're coming up on about five miles, two miles until our top of descent. And we will toggle on we'll, uh, the glide slope. We'll get on the glide slope and start. Start descending down. It was a very beautiful flight. We didn't have any turbulence. Um, very scenic. Here we are coming up on it now. So we'll go ahead and toggle that on now. You'll see right here the green dot. So I went ahead and captured that uh, 
thrust levels went to idle and we've gone into descent mode so that worked out perfect uh, we can jump over to our ipad here let's get our updated medar information for our arrival and let's get that put into the plane we'll head over to my flight uh, and we'll do arrival and we'll go ahead and refresh the medar here so we're looking at altimeter 3027 and 15 on the temperature so let's jump down here we'll go to performance uh next phase uh 3027 i said yeah and 15 so 3027 we'll go ahead and put that in here uh temperature is 15 we'll put that in here our winds are looking at 3405 so we'll go 3405 we'll drop that in there uh and we are going to be arriving ils runway 13 left i want to double check that we have the proper information for that so we'll go over here we'll go to the airport and to approach ILS 13 left and let's make sure we have the proper barometer information down here which is 8556 8556 it is correct and let's make sure we have the right nav frequency 111.3 if we jump down here and go to radio navs 111.3 final approach course is going to be 135 uh, this is 134 so we can change that if we want to 134 and we'll drop that in there uh i don't know what the slope i think it's three so what is it f one three four i don't know if you do three is that three zero yeah i don't know uh i'm not sure how to get the slope in there or the actual format for that but everything else looks good there um let's take a look at our arrival chart so we'll go ahead and move this out. We'll go to arrivals and we're doing the ABL one. I think it's um, the M we're doing this one. So this is our arrival. So as we come in here, when we hit boss, we have to be at 14,000. Uh, we're going to maintain 14,000 all the way until the end of our arrival. And then once we are on, let's take a look back at our other chart. Once we are on the approach for ILS 13 left, we need to be at 10,000 in order to intercept with our flight slope. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll set this down to 10,000. And that should auto manage that for us. We're down to 331,000. And continuing down, once we hit 18,000, that transition altitude will switch over our uh, altimeter. Let's go to our arrival information here, arrival performance. So again, we're going to be landing runway 13 left. So let's select 13 or 30. Is it 13 left? Yeah, 13 left. Uh, runway conditions are dry. We'll refresh the Medar for here. We'll go ahead and apply the Medar. Uh, we need to grab our landing weight, so we'll head over to our documents here. Um, and let's see, if we head down here to weights, it's going to be 135.1. So we'll head back over here. We'll go in here. We'll go 1351. There we are. We'll hit enter. Uh, looks like we're going to do medium auto brakes, which should be able to slap me. We could do... We have plenty of room to do low auto brakes. Uh, no reversers, full flaps, auto throttle will be on, uh, and we'll do a manual landing. So everything looks good here. This is giving our information. We're going to need 7,533 feet, and we have, I believe, 12,466 is what we have. So everything looks good there. We'll go back to our Navigraph here. Uh, 10,000 going to be an intercept and we'll bring up our route again actually before we do that let's take a look at our ground chart again airport here we are so we're going to be landing this runway here which means we're going to be getting off on to the right hand side alright so we could probably just leave this on here for now unless we need any other information we jump into a quick wing view Lots of mountains, lots of clouds, pretty similar to where we took off and how it looked when we took off. So far, a beautiful flight. We'll go into the right side view. 
Absolutely beautiful flight so far. And we're continuing down. We're at 26,000. It was 3-0. What was our, our uh, altimeter for here? Going to the next phase. We're looking at 3027. Uh, we'll activate our approach, obviously, once we're a little bit closer. But for now, 3027 is what we need to remember for our altimeter at 18,000. The airport altitude is much higher than we normally fly. Uh, we're looking at... Uh, let's zoom this in a little bit up here. Airport elevation, 8,360 feet. So it's a very, very high airport. It's a very elevated airport. So when we're flying at our intercepts, which is going to be 10,000, we're really like, you know, 1,800 feet off the ground or something to that effect. So 8,360 feet above sea level. I'm definitely looking forward to this approach. Again, I do have the scenery for this airport uh, that we're arriving into. I did not have the one for the one that we departed out of, um, but I do have the one for the one that we're flying into. Oh, let's take care of our company message. Let's go down here. We'll head over to ATC Communications, uh, AOC menu, receive the messages, and this is going to be for our delay. So send ADC for 578 minutes. I don't know why we were so delayed. Uh, maybe I just didn't update my sim brief before I jumped into fly. But that's okay. So 578 minutes. We'll go back a page. Uh, we'll set, head to here. And uh, wait. I'm sorry. Let me look at this one more time. See ADC delay card on company tablet and allocate as per and assign free text if applicable. Okay. 578. We'll go back back ADC delay 578 we'll drop that in there and let's take a look at our tablet and figure out which one delay allocation card in route slot delay we could do that departure runway change we could do uh, we didn't change that ATC startup delay we could we could do that if we wanted to uh, ramp delays loading error late arrival for pushback crew late, late removal of steps late removal of serving servicing equipment no we don't need that System reset, status, major simulator, re simulator restart. <laughs> we don't need that. Uh, we did have an issue with the tug at first. There was no tug, but that's okay. Uh, operational delays. We do incorrect departure time, new route, new route. Uh, fueling delay of inbound flight, self-maneuvering stand, misc. Uh, we'll do ATC, ATZ, in route slot delay. So ATZ is what we're going to have to put into here. ATZ. We'll drop that in there. We'll go ahead and send the message. We will receive a message back here in just a moment saying that they've received it. it should pop up pretty quickly. Uh, while we wait for that, we can jump back over here. We'll go home and we'll go back to our Navigraph chart. All right, we'll jump back down here. Here's our mes message back. ADC received. We're good there. Go back to flight plan uh, performance. And we are crossing below 19,000 in just a moment here. We're at 19,100. And there we are. So heading down through 18,000 here in just a moment. We'll change this to 3027 was our altimeter. So we can do that now. 3027. Airplane went ahead and pitched down. As you can see, that changed our altitude to enough degree that the plane had to pitch down to catch up with our glide slope. We have a 14,000 altitude constraint, uh, as you can see right here. I'm sure if I zoom this out, you'll probably see it as well. 14,000 to 250 knots, and then 14,000, and then 14,000 here as well. From there, we drop down to 10,000, uh, and we get lined up onto our approach. So everything's going as planned so far. We have everything managed as necessary. Once we drop below 10,000, we'll throw our landing lights on. Uh, once we're closer to our approach, we will start setting up for our, our arrival. But everything is going good so far. We're going to fly up here. We're going to make an, a straight up left turn, uh, fly to our next point and make a right turn, which I'm assuming that's going to be for terrain avoidance. We're going to kind of weave through these mountains here, which will be pretty cool. I have terrain on, but we're still too high to see anything. So we'll turn that back off. Jump back into a wing view. 
you can see we're getting closer to the ground. The elevation is much higher here. So we're already fairly low from ground level. Take a look at the right side. It was a very smooth flight. Very enjoyable. I'm, I'm definitely excited to see this time lapse. By the time you guys are hearing all this, you've already seen it. So I hope it is as well and as good as I'm expecting it to be. Because it did look pretty cool. It was a beautiful flight. All right, we got everything set up as we need. We did our performance information. We have our landing information. We have our ILS information in. Uh, we'll just double check that we have the proper runway set because we did change that. We have 13 left. We'll head over to performance. Uh, next phase, ILS 13 left. We have that reflecting there as well. Uh, so we'll go back a page. And right here, 13 left. We have all the proper information. So all we need to do is land the plane. About 12,000 feet from the ground, I believe. Uh, we got about a six knot headwind. So, so far it looks like it was good that we switched runways. Uh, that way we fly and land in a headwind instead of a tailwind. Right now the plane is slowing down to uh, its speed. 250 at this waypoint. There we go, starting that left turn. We're gonna be on the ground here within the next, I'd say like, 10 minutes probably pretty quickly we'll be on the ground here We'll go ahead and set our auto brakes to uh, low because we don't need strong auto brakes. We'll go ahead and arm our speed brake. Uh, we're going to do a flaps full configuration landing. Um, that's all we need to do for now. We are cleared below 10,000, so we can go ahead and get our landing lights on now. Uh, since we're getting lower here as well, we'll go ahead and get our seatbelt signs on just to let the cabin crew and everybody know that we are getting ready for our arrival. Got a right wing view. Nice sun glare off the wing there. Looks really good. I'm jump back up in the cockpit here. All right, everything seems to be going as planned. Uh, what's our landing speeds? I know it put it in here. 137. All right. So 137 is our target landing speed. So we'll fly up here. We'll start that right turn. And then we'll be on a heading towards the runway. Once we do that, we'll uh, enable our localizer a little bit closer. And uh, we'll start looking for our lights open and everything. So we'll make that right turn, we'll enable LS, localizer, start looking for that, and uh, hopefully have a smooth approach. Once we get a little bit lower, we'll turn on our terrain, keep an eye out for that. As you can see, there's some mountains out there that are at our altitude we're at now, just about. Fly right into Bogota. Bogota. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It is managing everything just fine. Let's take a look at our flight plan. Look at our legs here. So we are going to slow down to 230. 230 there. 167. And... 150. Okay. All our speeds look like they are good. We shouldn't have to go into management mode for our speeds. I think we're going to be fine. Still maintaining that 14,000. We should be uh, cleared to 
prepared to descend a little bit more soon. I think once we clear this turn right here, we'll be cleared down further. Oh no, I guess we're flying 14,000 all the way out to here. Yep. There's probably some terrain, some mountains in the way that we need to stay up above. Jumping a wing view while we're doing that turn. That flashing on the side there drives me absolutely crazy. But I could not find any settings anywhere to stop that. So I don't know what the deal is with that. So sorry if that bothers you guys, but look at those clouds out there. Look at those clouds right there, all up in the mountains and stuff. That looks so cool. I love that. That looks awesome. It should be a really beautiful approach. And we're just about finished this turn. We're going to level off here in just a second. We'll maintain that altitude. Looks like we're going to go right into that cloud there. And we're going to hold 14,000 for the next 15 miles. And then we drop down to 10,800. And uh, once we cross that waypoint, we'll toggle on everything to start looking for our localizer. I've never flown into or out of Costa Rica, and I've never flown into or out of Colombia. So this is the first time live with you guys. Well, not live, I guess, but for me, it's live. It's my first time doing it. I would like to get some more international flights. I'm sure the states can get uh, kind of boring after a while, a little bit repetitive. So I am excited to start doing some international flights. Uh, a flight I would love to do is a Hawaii to Los Angeles or vice versa. Um, one of the big flights that I had on my bucket list was New York to LA and luckily we got that done. I would like to do a New York to London. Um, I would also like to do a LA to Hawaii or vice versa. If you guys are enjoying this, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If this is the kind of content you like, this is what I'll be making, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, we got about seven nautical miles until we hit our next waypoint. Then we'll start our descent down to 10,800. As you can see right here, 10,800 is our next constraint. And right here, we can continue down. Excuse me. Just holding that altitude. About an hour and 51 minutes in flight time. Jump back over here. There's those clouds. Look crazy. I can imagine what's going on on those mountaintops underneath those clouds. Probably just getting dumped on with rain. All right, about three nautical miles until we pass this waypoint. Start our descent down. It does look like it's a little more flat in front of us. Although it looks like we are going to be flying into some clouds. So follow our glide slope and... Um, ILS down as far as we need to. All right, just about over that waypoint. You'll see this magenta, there it goes, went away. Back into a descent. We are on our way down. We can go ahead and toggle this on. So we have our localizer, I believe. So we can probably lock onto that. 
There we are. We're locked onto our localizer. I don't know why the plane is speeding up. We can go into approach mode. There we go. Not really sure what happened there, but we can go ahead and toggle on our approach. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for it on here and we'll continue down. We can go ahead and get our runway turnoff lights on. We'll get our taxi and takeoff lights on for the landing. We never had toggle on our nav and logo. We just had our logo light on. Uh, and we should be all set for our approach. We'll just keep on looking for that localizer. There it is. We have our diamond for the localizer. We are in approach mode, so we can go ahead and get a notch of flaps in. Let the plane start slowing itself down. And following our speed constraints here. So we'll just slowly continue on down. We're looking about 15 miles from our runway, 15 mile final right now. Uh, as you can see right here, right on that dotted line. Uh, we'll drop our gear here shortly. I'm going a little bit fast for that. We'll let the plane slow down. We're following a glide slope already. So once we level off, we should be able to intercept. Oh, it looks like we just locked onto that glide slope. So the plane's going to level out just to get more level onto that glide slope. We can go ahead and introduce another notch of flaps. Let the plane continue slowing down. We're locked onto the glide slope. We're locked onto the localizer. And we are all set for landing. Our speeds are coming down. We'll wait for them to come down before we go full flaps. And we're going to drop our gear here shortly. Speeds are coming down. We'll go ahead and drop our gear. Gear is coming down. Everything's looking good. Go ahead and go full flaps. Our speeds are at our target speeds. Wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's very green out here. I really like that. Very green. The right wing view. Beautiful landscapes. back up front here make sure nothing's going wrong here we go into the into the clouds here we are at 10,800 2,000 call out right there or 2,000 from the ground no runway in sight yet once we pop out of this cloud I'm sure we'll get the runway in sight We have everything set. We have our taxi lights on, our landing lights are on, our runway turnoff lights are on, our auto brakes are set, our speed brake is armed, our seatbelt signs are on, and our gear is down, flaps are set. We do have a runway in sight. There we are, runway in sight. We'll let the plane manage us as far as we can, and then we'll toggle off and go into, I don't think we can do an auto land here. I'll toggle it on and see if there's I mean, it does give us a Cat 3 duel, but I don't think there is a Cat 3 approach here. We could try it. I'll leave it on auto land until we get a little bit closer. If, uh, if we have any issues, I'll just toggle it off, but we may be able to just auto land it. Beautiful scenery. Look at this ground. Look at these ground textures. Everything looks absolutely awesome here. Very, very beautiful. We'll jump into a right wing view one more time real fast before we complete our landing. Look at that rainbow. You see that? Beautiful rainbow out there. Wow. All right. We'll jump back up here. We have two white, two red on the Pappy lights. One thousand. All right, we have our feet on the rudders. We're ready to land. Give you one more view real quick. All right, 
I'm back up here. Hands are on the controls in case we need to take control. 500. Too red, too white. 100 above. 300. Minimum. Landing. 200. So letting the plane auto 100. land. So fully auto managed. A little bit right of center. 50, 40, 30, 20. 10. Retard. Retard. And we are down. We'll go ahead and let the auto brake slow us down. Beautiful landing. We can go ahead and toggle off our autopilot here. Yep, yep, yep. And we can... We can get off right here. Just set the... No, maybe not. Let's go to the next one. It's a little bit too too abrupt. We'll just ride it down to the end here. What a beautiful landing. Absolutely awesome landing. Welcome to Columbia, guys. All right, we'll get off here on the right. We'll hold short once we're off the runway here and uh, we'll do our after landing checks. We can go ahead and toggle our flaps up. I do have a button set for that, so we'll get our flaps toggled up. And we will taxi off right here. And we'll slow down just a little bit here. We'll cross this line. We'll hold short at this dotted line. And there we are. We'll hold short right here. Go ahead and toggle our brake on. We will get our speed brakes unarmed. We can turn them off. We'll go to our overhead panel. We can get our landing lights turned off. We can get our strobe turned off. We can get our runway turnoff lights on. Takeoff lights can be set to taxi. Um, we can get our APU master switch on. As soon as our flaps open, we can get our APU bleed on and get our APU going. In the meantime, let's take a look at our chart here. This is where we are. Oh, that's not how you zoom in. All right, so we'll cross over Alpha here. Uh, we'll cross, I guess, or maybe we'll go right on Bravo. We'll take Bravo down to Bravo 8. And I believe these are the terminals. We should be able to park there. So we'll cross Bravo, right turn. We'll cross Alpha, right turn on Bravo. Uh, let's take a look at our APU flap. It is open, so we can go ahead and get our bleed on and start our APU, and we are ready for taxi. We will release our parking brake. We'll go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of throttle. We can clear our message out here. There we are. Give ourselves some throttle. We did release the brake, right? Yep. There it goes. So this one is going to be our alpha taxiway. We're going to cross that. We'll make a right on the second one, which is going to be Bravo, which should be able to take us all the way down there to where the terminals are. Very smooth flight. Smoothest landing I've done in the A320. And it was able to do the auto land. So I'm super excited about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the auto land. Very simple to do. Not so much in the 747. I still haven't figured out how to do the auto land in the seven or 737. My apologies. The um, the uh, I was gonna say the A320 737, <laughs> the PMDG 737. Still haven't quite figured out how to master that auto land. Again, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. Ninety-four percent of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you guys could do me the favor and hit that subscribe button i would appreciate that it helps me out a lot uh if this is the kind of content you like uh this is the kind of content i'm going to continue to make all right our apu is good um and yeah join me on this journey of youtube uh we'll make a left turn not here we're going to do the second one and then we'll pick a gate and we'll pull into that gate and we'll do our parking checks All right, we'll start slowing down. We're going a little bit fast. Actually, a lot of bit fast. 
There we go. And start that left. We'll veer off to the right here, and then we have to figure out which gate we're going into. Oh, are these taxiways? Oh, wow. Look at that. They need to do this at every airport because I'm always having to go into third person view to figure out which way to taxi into one of these gates. And look, they got it listed right here. I love that. So we'll go right here. Gate 41, I believe this is. Oh, man, do I love that. What a great feature. All right, here we are pulling into the gate. There's a window view as we pull into the gate. We'll definitely slow down. We are flying. Now we slow down a little bit too much. Give ourselves just a little bit of thrust and pull it back to idle. There we are. And we'll go ahead and stop it right about there. There we are. We'll put our brake on. One last wing view real quick. Beautiful, beautiful parking. All right. <laughs> And we are here, so uh, we can go to our overhead panel here. We have our APU set, which means we can turn off our engines. We can go engine two and engine one. They both can come down. Uh, we'll get established on our APU once our engines are fully shut down. There we are, clicked over to the APU. We'll come over here. We'll go ahead and go to D board, which should automatically call the jetway over and We'll go to ground services uh get everything set let's take a look outside jetway is coming over very nice we'll let that come up and connect we should have ground power available to us now there we are we do so we'll go ahead and toggle on our ground power we are now on the ground power which means we can go ahead and get our apu off our apu master switch can come off beacon can come off taxi lights can come off We'll leave wing and wing lights on and nav and logo lights can stay on. No smoking can come off. Seatbelts can come off. Oh, that's uh, just one switch. There we go. And that is it. Everybody should be deboarding the plane. That is our turnaround state. And there you have it, guys. If you guys enjoyed that flight, leave a like. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Join me on the rest of this journey on YouTube, and I will see you guys on the next video.